Hello my viewers So Another bike review I haven't had one in a year But a uh, few people replied that They liked the my last one About Suzuki uh, SV650 Gladius So I'm making another one This is my Upgrade From Suzuki Maybe downgrade for somebody uh, It's Triumph Tiger 660 Sport I don't know why it's an, an adventure bike yeah, by Trump but they market it as one but it's a baby tiger and you're asking me where are we? this is not a territory for a tiger it's a road bike more like a trident uh, with some wind protection if you're here you already know there is plenty of uh, uh, tiger review so you perhaps all don't know the details about horsepower seat height uh, and everything perhaps even more than I know if you're looking to buy one so I won't be talking much about that and uh, what we're gonna do today is a little bit of light off-roading and bad roads most likely uh, your tiger we'll see roads like this but we'll be riding something around here on a little bit of forest so I already own this Tiger for 4300 kilometers and maybe I'm gonna say something that you don't know and want to see a more long-term review Let me hit the road. So it will be like a kilometer of this kind of road, and we will venture into a small forest. So my future viewers from the United States are perhaps will ask. Where the fuck are we? So, currently we are in Lithuania We so ask is that near Syria? No, it's not about the state But we are near Poland The more you know So this is countryside About maybe 30 kilometers from our capital city But we are already in our region So this sign is kind of stuck, except some SV motor uh, grass protection and some side sliders and a fine quick shifter. Other than that, it's stuck even without some protection. So, compared to competition, like all the these sounds, or versus 650 and riding all of them a little bit this is one the most fun uh, small touring motorcycle uh, you can get I think my own honest opinion because versus 650 is a bit more low on power uh, doesn't cost much difference maybe less than thousand dollar difference or euro depends on where you live and I think this pack is more efficient uh, than the competition also three cylinder is most powerful from the bench and for the price uh, I think uh, you're getting most out of your money also if you like street bikes I was riding about four years with the street bike and I didn't want to suffer and get a very boring bike so this one is yeah it's kind of 350 and it goes bigger 
but this is a lot more intimidating. Like, not a red wall. I'm really not a big fan of the sound. But if you need a commuter bus, that you need like to get like 30, 40 miles to work or kilometers to go, it's perfect. It's perfect. I, this is the wind protection and it's deep. And the, the child really got their, their aerodynamics on point. I'm like short, uh, like 5.6 or 7. 507 feet in freedom numbers and 169 centimeters in Europe. Uh, so I'm just on this bike, but uh, as I uh, know a little thing or two about riding after four years of street bikes, uh, it wasn't a huge problem for me. The seating position for my height. Uh, it's fine. I, I don't get that numbness in hands like on an SV or other more sporty bikes. The suspension uh, is really uh, on the stiff side, so nothing second from the bottom. I'm not sure how many of them. I do like seven or eight. And you're not if you're willing to get something more comfortable than a street bike get this I don't think you will regret one because you're not sacrificing much uh, well, except you your love for the lake bikes other than that compared to Trident if not the price uh, it's all benefits well, except if you maybe look uh, like the looks of Trident or other naked street bikes then uh, yeah, you are sacrificing a lot. But from the perspective, I will get the street bike, I will get the child, and it will be faster, more nimble. Uh, in real life, you are not winning much. Uh, you are not, you are not getting much. Except maybe if you are afraid that you won't get your two legs down, two heels down. Uh, then yeah, child is a little bit. bit uh, I don't know if you like a banana, I see a tiger who's has an absolute win. Even for the name, tiger thinks a lot more to than the tiger. I don't know. So, but what I expected more, a little bit more adventure side. This is not made for a ride in a forest. It's a real street bike. Uh, with a little bit of more uh, wind protection and uh, you have more forward dive and it's more comfortable to drive. The seating position, uh, my knee is bent a little bit. The biggest issue in the city for me is from a head I took out and the heat on the left side is a little bit easy so if I drive slowly and then it may be like this sometimes and uh, if you will see but overall I'm kind of happy with the big shifter compared to uh, like Tracer 7 I know it's called uh, in, uh, in the States but I think uh, it's Tracer 7 uh, it's not funny right the way down person and I found it very dumb like the big shifter uh, on that so was uh, kind of horrible I'm now a dealer with salt maybe it's not even the original one but you have to rub it out and here you can just put out get to get a second and um, as you see I'm not even much RPM just a 10% of gas Three, four, five, and maybe slugging now a little bit. Three seconds. Even without the fiction, uh, this is what we found. Is, it's really neat. We will make a stop in the later. 
I thought more about this bike so after 4000 kilometers in full conclusion the bigger disadvantage was the heat and maybe it could unexpected for a bike but I didn't push another test bikes that much uh, so I will really compare it that these shocks uh, really I I think I'm even pushing this bike more than I was ever um, that I was ever pushing my own my own bike that I had for three years so I think it's fine I think the handling is really good compared to SV uh, the base weight is a little bit on the, the weight of the bike is maybe on a little uh, taller side but the whole bike is taller so it's hard to think about it but the electronics on this the traction control uh, works perfectly on off-road on a, like loose, loose gravel I'm not taking this bike to a dirt almost in every branch even like for the year 2000 rpm and like third of the gas and this is great the sv even went lower on power it felt like it had more but you look look at the fork cruise uh four cruise uh, this uh, will be a lot flatter and uh, the SV, the V2 motor uh, is fading out after 2000 RPM and this is flat and whatever gear you want to start and you are good to go sometimes it's not the sound uh, I'm not a fan of the sound but uh, some people are uh, I like the V2 more I think that this will be like a lot faster. I'm kind of doubtful if this is faster than like a East from or from the start. But all we need to do is just see the data. The 0 to 100 is slower than SP650 for example so another few nitpickings that I saw about this bike is some of the quality control that Triumph had so it's a premium brand but it uh, puts uh, kind of how do I say a budget bike compared there in a Japanese category by the price now I haven't dropped it once in a that may change uh, for the future viewers uh, so the nitpicks uh, this this window this screen if you can see it's already scratch little little scratches everywhere it's floppy uh, it's kind of fine for my height I'm just getting a little bit of fint on top of my helmet mm, and I lean a little bit forward or put my butt cheeks right here it's a stock seat I rode for 3000 kilometers on the lower seat and overall I didn't like it the difference for the low seat is maybe right here just right here so this line if you see it is maybe right here so it's flatter right there and there becomes zero cushioning close to zero cushioning and this was not very comfortable not on the long ride I'm, I'm fine with uh, close to no seat but for a short legs like me when it's in this line what happens is when you stop 
and you lean on one side you're actually rubbing on kind of surface on this and oh this also I don't know what the fuck makes these but I'm not a fan of this everybody will be asking what the, is this bag is Rhino walk whatever I bought it used just to carry water bottles and some uh, little gear so from the mods yes those side sliders that makes your uh, chain maintenance a little bit harder as you have to like remove this but uh, but I think it will maybe save something maybe not sure never dropped it so on this model you can regular the preload on this shock not like the color of that shock uh, could be black red whatever not not white it makes little click when you push it let's return it to the position yeah this is a uh, for original mounting system I think it's too expensive and it's like a 700 euro for these little boxes uh, it looks cool uh, I like the Triumph made this could they make more universal for like a soft carriage yeah it would be better than those little plastic boxes for that much money almost tenth of the price of this motorcycle this crash protection already lost one of that little thingies that protect and the front guards sliders maybe some of the sliders maybe fork protectors or whatever and here this has the cap uh, does this protect more than original uh, from the tiger uh, from for the triumph i'm not sure but i like the road presence of this yeah they look good these are little scratches in this from I don't even know what but the paint doesn't look that good and also this screen scratches extremely easy and from the side wind it moves but I like that I don't need to get off the bike to flip it down or up this scratch also came from the factory but the good guys from Triumph dealer uh, gave me a little cash back on my first service so the first 100 kilometers on this were kind of awful it smelled like old carbureted java every plastic piece smelled like crap and overall I was thinking uh, it, will this bike survive so run in period this is wild I was allowed to about 3000 something rpm before it hit like something like a limiter and it and it smelled and it, it wasn't comfy to uh, the drive you was always looking uh, at the screen if you're not running too much rpm so even driving over 70 kilometers per hour you are driving on the limit after like 300 kilometers it moves uh, the 1000 rpm more and maybe after oh, 400 500 kilometers it extends every thousand and on the first thousand kilometers you're hitting that that sweet spot that you unlock all the rpms so yeah the running period just yeah, it takes it takes a bit of riding and patience not to go over because first few rides to work uh, I was riding uh, below the speed limit by 20 kilometers per hour I don't like that this fuel cap opens in a kind of wrong direction if you are, want to be seated and put the fuel on it always it always want to go back stay here but I don't like it it could be 
it could open to a different place because uh, these little scratches if you think all this from just putting on the fuel uh, the fuel efficiency is not the best some uh, 600 riders would say yeah it's pretty good uh, roughly about four and a half and five liters uh, driving on the legal roads not exceeding the speed limit by much and uh, uh, 6, 650 on Suzuki that I had for three years was more fuel efficient a lot more so these pegs I think they're pretty good standard pegs but yeah we heard it you hear it a little bit roof that shift assist from Trump and uh, the heat on this side is is a lot in this very hot very hot summer so under a few nitpicks uh, uh, I have that it was losing a little bit of oil from the start I don't like these plastic bits they feel cheap uh, try and could make them a little bit metal because all the time you pull it you feel like you will break it uh, also the fluids I picked it up with low everything was kind of low not on the upper side it was low and I already use like 300 milliliters at third of the bottle maybe even more of oil to fill this up now it's in the middle and I could empty that bottle I mean half empty that one liter fuel uh, not fuel uh, oil bottle to even it out uh, the upper side of the oil what I like it is uh, lights the lights on these are amazing oh and this one I will, I will, I will show it I don't know how camera will see the angle here but this is always in the way always in the way always in the way in the in the view of this the menu is oh, fine i guess it's informative and uh, very short you don't have uh, much to do with it uh, but i don't ask for it so it has two um, two modes see there fuel is 5.1 it's a 17 liter fuel tank and that's more than enough for me so this cable always gets in the way and things like moving it somewhere else but it's kind of short and I don't know is it okay or not okay but I'm keep it that way Not very. After some time, you forget about it because all you use is this bar, so it doesn't need more. Uh, but still, you're covering like fourth bottom of the screen uh, just just with this. The lights, uh, the LED lights are amazing. It it is a lot better than my. BMW car <laughs> with the halogen lights uh, maybe it, if in this video there will be uh, like uh, more dark areas I will light the long, long lights and uh, you you will see the, the view you'll be completely safe also the electronics the traction control the wind protection it's it's very good even for my height when I was driving in the rain, I was close to dry when driving it over 100 kilometers an hour. Only the helmet, my uh, shoulders and my backpack uh, was a little bit dry. The knees almost don't get any water. I don't know how this deflects it, but uh, riding, riding forwards uh, to, to rain, really protects you 
this is really good but the quality control maybe even on these handles from this smooth really looks like they'll get ruined in some time this is new bike and already I see some damage in this I don't know how it will look after 10 years so I'll be driving to a more spirited area there won't be much commentary because of the wind so I don't know maybe it will pass through these two videos but this is my short review about this Triumph Tiger 660 do I regret it? no I don't think so I don't think I regret it I think it's a great commuter sporty bike if you own street bike uh, or if you own super bike and you want something more comfy but still have still have all those sporty dry feelings uh, you want to like bend it in corners feel the power of the engine uh, in this class of course uh, it's a great commuter bike I think it's a better choice uh, than a Trident if you are doing a lot of things um, like you have to commute not, not in the city but uh, in the countryside or taking like longer journeys uh, I really appreciate that uh, Triumph made this bike maybe they could release the second version of 660 but just with more off-road focused this is like a road version that move it to roadsters and they make more adventurous 660 uh, more like of a spirited drive because in this category uh, Tiger 900 was out of my uh, budget list I really want it but it's more of a for even more long, longer distances so for a price up to 10,000 I think this is, this is the bike to get guys this is the bike so see you in the next video or in the other roads bye